The rule of 72 is quite a famous formula in the investment world. It basically tells you how long it takes for your money to double in an investment. For example, if I said to you, I have an investment where your money is growing at 5% a year, would you know how long it takes for your money to double compounding at 5%? Or you might hear things like the average compounding rate of the stock market since inception is around about 10%. So would you know how long it takes for your money to double compounding at 10%? Well, this is where the rule of 72 can help. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the rule of 72 is. I'll give you a brief history of where it comes from, and then I'll also show you some cool examples of where you can use the rule of 72 in some other places too. As what many people don't realize is that you can actually use it to know how long it takes you for your property to double in value, how much money you're losing to fees in mutual funds and ETFs, how quickly currency is eroding away due to inflation. So it's pretty useful and you will know all of this by the end of this video. As always, if you do find anything in this video useful, be sure to drop a like, that would be much appreciated and every like does help. Okay, sit back and relax guys. Here is what you need to know about the rule of 72. So here is what we've got coming up. We're first gonna start with what exactly is this rule of 72 and I'll show you the origin of where it came from. We'll then have a look at the rule 72 in action and I'll show you how your money doubles at different rates. And then we'll finish with some bonus examples and we'll show you how you can use this rule to discover some cool insights. First up, what is the rule of 72? Well, as mentioned before, it basically shows you how long it takes for your money to double in an investment that is compounding. First up, let me take you back to the year 1494 in Italy. And we have this guy, Luca Pacioli. And he wrote and published a book, Summa de Arithmetica, which I believe translates to Summary of Arithmetic. So this guy is known as the father of accounting. And fun fact is that he was friends with Leonardo da Vinci. Don't you just love these old fashioned photos? Everyone was so serious in the pictures. And I'm not sure who the guy is in the back who's doing a bit of a photo bomb. But essentially the rule of 72 dates back about 500 years. The rule 72 in action. So if you wanted to know how long it would take for your money to double, this is the actual mathematics behind it. Now, if you're anything like me, this is going way over your head. So luckily, the rule 72 looks like this. It's just 72 divided by the rate of return. Let's head on over to a blackboard and I'll show you how this works. So we have rule of 72 and the maths is just we 72 divide by the rate of return. So let's start with 1%. So let's say we get 1% interest rate from our bank. How long would it take for your money to double in that bank account? So we just do 72 divided by one. So quite simply 72 years. So not a great rate of return and I don't think anyone wants to wait 72 years for the money to double. Let's take a look at 3%. How long would it take for your money to double at 3%? So we do 72 divided by three, and it gives us 24 years. Okay, 4%, we do 72 divided by 4%, and that would give us 18 years. So already this rule is showing some really interesting insights. Look at the difference between 3% and 4%. Just 1% difference, yet you'd be saving six years of time. So this really shows that every percentage point does count. Let's do 5%. So again, 72 divided by five. Now we come down to 14 years. And if you remember, 
the average return of the American stock market S&P 500 since inception is about 10%. So how long does it take for your money to double at 10%? 72 divided by 10 gives us seven years. See, now we're coming down to a more exciting term. And this is why the stock market is such a popular investment, because your money is doubling every seven years. And let's finish with 20%. So Warren Buffett is very famous in his early years of being able to compound money at 20% a year. And this means he was doubling his money every three and a half years. How cool is that? So essentially, this is the rule of 72. And let's finish with some bonus examples starting with property so we know that the average house price increase is around about five percent so we literally just do 72 divided by five and it tells us that house prices are doubling approximately every 14 and a half years and this explains why your grandparents house they bought it for like ten thousand. yet house prices today are in the hundreds of thousands and it'll only be one generation more when nearly all the property prices are in the millions. Next up, mutual fund fees. We all hate fees, right? Well, we can use the rule of 72. Let's say the average fee you were paying was 2% in your pension. You can do 72 divided by two, and this tells us that the fees are going to be taking half of the pension pot after 36 years so it really highlights that fees really matter and we always want to be trying to get this rate down next up credit card debt so let's say we have credit card debt and we're paying an 18 percent interest rate on that debt well we do 72 divided by 18 and this tells us that our debt is going to double every four years and this is why credit cards are such a lucrative product. And let's finish with the loss of purchasing power due to inflation. So if inflation is at 3%, we do 72 divided by 3, and it tells us that the purchasing power of our currency is losing half of its value every 24 years. Now, this is a bit of a scary statistic. And it really highlights that you don't want to be saving all your money in the bank. A much smarter thing to do is to be leveraging debt, good debt with properties, because then you're inflating away your debt, half the debt every 24 years. And that's how you use it to your advantage. So there you are, guys. That is everything you need to know about the rule of 72. It's basically a great little tool to figure out how fast your money doubles in an investment. But as you saw, you can also use it in some cool other places too. So I just have one favor to ask. If you did find anything in this video useful, be sure to drop a like. That would be much appreciated and every like does help. If you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to click the subscribe button below and join us. I do have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. And if you've got any questions, any comments, just post them below the video now. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.